Welcome back to episode number 12 of this tutorial series on Arduino for complete beginners. You can find the series playlist in the description. And let's get started. This tutorial here is another challenge I'm giving to you with first the explanation of what you need to do and then the step-by-step -step solution. And your challenge will be to make the LED fade in and fade out just as you can see on the video right now. So how to do this? I'm going to give you a few hints, okay? So first you will need to initialize the LED like we did before with PID mode, etc. And then to make the LED fade in and fade out, you will actually write code in the loop, okay? And you will need to use two for loops, okay? So for loop here to go from zero to 255, and another for loop to go from 255 to zero. So why is that? Because the analog write function can take a value between zero and 255. Okay, zero means powered off, and 255 means powered on with the maximum intensity. So you need to go from zero all the way up to 255. And then once you reach this number, you need to go back to zero, okay, step by step, number by number, and every time you will put this number into the analog write function, so you will have analog write with zero, and then with one, with two, with three, etc. But as you can guess, you are not going to write the analog write function uh, 500 times, okay? Instead, you are going to use for loops. So you have already seen how to use a for loop to go from a number to another number, by incrementing the index every time with i++, so that, that you know. But actually, it's not the only way to write a for loop. You can write a for loop to actually decrease the index, okay? I'm just going to give you the structure for that. So you will have your for loop, and then you start the index. Instead of starting at zero, you will start at 255, okay? Semicolon. And then the condition so that the loop can continue is simply that the index is greater or equal than zero. And finally, what we're going to do with the index is not i++, but i minus minus. Okay, i++ means you add one to i. i minus minus means you decrease i by one. So we start 255 and then 254, etc., all the way down to zero and then stop. All right, so with that, you should have enough information to do the activity. And also what you're going to need, the last thing is to add a small delay, okay, between each analog write that you do, because if you do it at full speed, it will be way too quick for you to see anything. So you can add a delay of five milliseconds, okay? Between each iteration of the for loop, you can add a 5 millisecond delay. This is the value that I used in the video that I showed you about the result. Now, of course, you can tinker this value if you want to increase or decrease it. It's up to you. All right, and now you can press pause on the video, try to do the challenge by yourself, and then watch the solution. And here is the solution to this second challenge or activity of this tutorial series. So we can actually separate this project into two parts. First, we need to make sure that we have the index going from zero to 255 and then 255 to zero. And then we need to set up the LED and use the analog write function. So I'm going to work first on the two four loops we need to do. Okay, and make sure we have the correct values using the serial monitor for debugging. And then I'm going to write the analog write function. I'm going to remove all of the comments. Okay, and start with the first for loop, so for. And then we create, of course, an index int i is equal to zero. So we start at zero. And then what is the maximum value we want? The maximum value we want is 255. So i is lower or equal than 255. 
we could also use i is strictly lower than 256 and then i plus plus so the for loop we go from 0 to 255 increasing by 1 every time okay that is the first for loop the second for loop so i'm going to put here the space we are going to start from 255 okay and we are going to stop at zero so while i is still greater or equal than zero we continue okay you can read this as while this is true we continue and then i minus minus which means that we are going to decrement this index every time okay and now the for loops are complete because here you can see we start at zero we go to 255 okay in this one and then from 255 to zero okay and once we have finished those two for loops well we go out of the void loop and we go in again and we start again at zero so there is a continuity with the index here and now what i'm going to do is simply print to be sure that we have the correct values so serial dot begin okay don't forget that with 9600 baud rate in the setup function and here i'm going to do serial dot print ln with i and also serial dot print ln with i as well and as you can see here we use the same name i because this is a different scope okay here the i variable is local to the for loop so basically it is contained between those two curly brackets okay this scope and this i is in that scope okay so two different scopes and now what i'm going to do i'm going to add here delay five okay I'm going to add the delay because if we don't add the delay it will print very very fast and it's not that readable and well let's try this first part so i'm going to uh, compile the code as activity 2. okay let's see if we have any error no done compiling so now tools board and ports are correct actually well just for printing i'm going to increase this delay a little bit because that's going to be a little bit too fast uh, just for us to read the value so a delay of 50 milliseconds will be good i'm going to upload the code now loading i'm going to open cyan monitor and you can see we go from zero okay it's increasing so 150 200 and then 200 you will see here 255 and then we decrease the value okay so 100 here we go down and we are approaching zero and you will see here zero and then we go up again so now we are sure that the index here the i value that we need for analog write as the correct behavior okay so what we can do now is actually to set up the led so define led pin 11 in the setup function we are going to do pin mode with led pin and output and in the void now instead of printing here so we can remove that actually i'm going to comment it instead of printing i we can directly do analog write with led pin and the value i which we know is going from 0 to 255 here i'm going to put back to delay to 5 milliseconds and then on the other for loop analog write led pin i as well okay this is the same code but here the i is going from 255 to 0 and also the delay 5 and let's run that code so 
example, now we don't uh, check the side monitor, we check directly the LED. And as you can see, the LED is fading in and fading out, just like we want it. So as you could see on this program, sometimes it's easier to break the program, break the project into different steps and try to validate each step one by one. Okay. Once you validate one step, like we did here with the index, we can go to the next step. And this way, creating projects will be much easier for you and you will make much less errors. All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full complete course on Arduino named Arduino for Beginners. This course contains about seven times more content than the series. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.